channel. If you're new here, my name is Amira and for today's video we are giving a little makeover to our laundry room. So it's been about six years since we did any uh, changes to our laundry room. So six years ago we put up some really pretty uh, country style wallpaper, we did some open shelving, we put our laundry hampers on some shelves. Nothing too major but also nothing that was really practical, it was more decorative. Um, yeah, so we have been putting, going down our ideas and planning on things that we wanted to change and kind of give a makeover to in our laundry room. So finally, we are confident enough to kickstart this project. I'm not too sure how long this is going to take or how the ideas are going to play out, but we'll see how we go along the way. Um, so the, the ideas that I have in mind are to maximize storage space, to try and utilize the space that we do have in our laundry room, and be able to organize some more things in here rather than just our towels and cleaning supplies but I thought we will be able to store a lot more essentials that we use on a daily in here so I'm not too sure yet what we will be but if we have that space to store more um, of our essentials then that is really great so I've got some paint here which I'm not too sure yet what color we're going to go for but the first thing that we did was go to Ikea to see if we were able to find any cabinets to hang on the wall and thankfully we did find, I'm not too sure about the name but I will link them um, they come in raw wood and I really wanted to give our cabinets a fresh lick of paint as well so it was, it's perfect to be able to paint them the same colour as well I've got about five colours here from Jolly Paints, I'll link them, they are absolutely amazing um, Every single do-it-yourself project, I've only ever used Jolly Paints. No, no need for priming, sanding, you just literally paint right onto the surface that you're painting. They're really, really good and the colours they offer are so pretty. Um, so what I'm going to do is probably do a few swatches and maybe decide from there what colour I do want to go with. I do want to leave the country style wallpaper, it's just so pretty and it's so hard to find. This is six years old and I try to find um, more of it so I can complete the laundry room and it's nowhere to be found. So it's yeah something that I want to keep there, it's so beautiful and the colours that are in there are still what I'll be using throughout the laundry room as well. Uh, so yeah, so that's the plan. Hopefully it all goes to plan and every step of the way I will share with you guys what we're doing, what we're using, uh, where to get them from and all of that exciting stuff. So do stay tuned and if this interests you then keep watching. We managed to do four color swatches on the cabinet um, out of the five colors that I have only because the Uptown Ecru is a really beige color very close to the cabinet color currently which is not what I want also the farmhouse beige which is down here stunning stunning color however I really don't want the cabinets to be a beige I just want to move away from that they're already a beige color I just wanted to give them a pop of color to kind of give it a really big makeover <laughs> um, but I do have an idea of what I'll be using the farmhouse beige for uh, but for the cabinets these three colors wow absolutely beautiful so the top one here we have sage this one here is petite, petite chateau and then this one here is eucalyptus I've used petite chateau for our garden shed which is um, so so pretty like it's really really pretty and very 
French like. And then this one here is Eucalyptus. I've used that for our TV unit. So I've used these two before and I know that they're beautiful and I knew that they'll work in here. However, Sage, I've never used. And I'm so excited because it's such a gorgeous color. It's darker than these two, but it complements the wallpaper so, so well and gives it a really pretty French country vibe, which is exactly what I want in here. It's going to be a tough decision I'm not yet sure, but definitely out of these three is that's the verdict. Um, but yeah, if you would like to see which color we use, then keep watching. Okay, so I'm pretty much certain what color we're going to paint the cabinets. Now that that's done, we're going to clear everything so we can put up the cabinets onto the wall and get painting. So. assembled and installed the cabinets that we got from IKEA now the tricky part is I've managed to decide on two colors now um, and that was the sage and the petite chateau so I've decided to go ahead and paint uh, with the, uh, the sage and the petite chateau just to see which one we preferred Although both of them are absolutely beautiful, I think we're going to go ahead with the Petit Chateau. It's a little bit more subtle, but as well, it's definitely a pop of color as well. So that's really great. Um, so that's pretty much it. So I'll definitely link the cabinets um, in my description box below. And I'll show you guys how they look once they're painted. So let's get to that. Day two of our laundry makeover. We've installed the cabinets. We've given them um, two coats of paint for the cabinets, which is perfect. We've done one coat on the cabinets that are here. They need maybe another coat. I'm not too sure if I want to do a third, but I think a second one would be fine. We've taken off all the hardware. Um, yeah, so that's the next step. Uh, and then we'll be starting the next step, so let's get painting. Cabinets are currently drying and they're pretty much done. So we've done two coats, two coats of the Jolly paint and the coverage is amazing. We are so happy with the colour that we chose, which is the Petite Chateau. It's just completely transformed this laundry and there's still so much to go. So I'm super excited. Um, although I had to let that settle a little bit before we put the clear wax on and move on to the next task, um, which is our door. So although we love you know the wood and all of that, we get we're giving the entire laundry a makeover, so the door is in desperate need of some TLC. So we're going to paint our door. I'm only gonna paint it from the inside and leave it um, the wood tone from the outside. And we're also going to add some molding, which I'm super excited about. So we've just got some a leveler tape measure just to kind of see what type of molding shape and size that we wanna put on the door. Um, so before we paint it, we're going to put the mould in and then um, use some wood filler to fill it up and all of that and then give it a really nice coat of paint. And yeah, so we'll see how that goes. So let's get busy.
we have just finished painting the door. We put the, the molding on it. We've also painted the window frame. So while they're drying, it's time to um, work on the handles for the cabinets. Now we managed to grab a, get a, a pack of 10 from Bunnings, but I'm sure you know your local hardware store would have any of these. They're just matte black, very simple um, handles. However, we want to give them a brass finish. Now, the most inexpensive way um, to do this is with the rub and buff. I've used this before and I've shared it on my social platforms. Um, when I did a do-it-yourself kitchen utility rail in my kitchen and it turns out really, really nice. And I've been using it for little um, do-it-yourself projects here and there. I've been using the European Gold, which is a beautiful brassy tone, but I also have the Gretchen Gold as well. I'm not too sure how that's going to look, but I'm going to um, see which one I want to go with and um, yeah, give the, give the black handles a brassy finish and then place them onto the cabinets. Now, while we're doing that, the cabinets are drying from a coat of uh, finishing clear wax from the Dolly paints. This is pretty much the last step that um, we need to do for our cabinets. Now, normally for, for instance, um, my TV unit example, after the clear wax, I do a coat of the dark brown wax just to give it an antique finish but it's totally up to what kind of style what kind of look you're going for now in here we just want that sleek clean finish we don't want anything um any distressing or any rustic looking um finishes so we're just going to do the clear wax and that needs a few hours to dry we've already done that and now it's to work on the handles so let's see what color we're going to choose okay So with the um, the rub and buff, it's exactly what it's called. It's just you rub and you buff it, um, and it's it dries really quickly. And a little bit it does go a long way. Um, you can use your finger, you can use a foam brush, whatever you like. I just find the finish is a lot more seamless with your finger. I find that you're just able to um, just to control it a little bit better as well. I must admit it is a little bit difficult to <laughs> wash off your hands, but I mean it's all worth it. So this one here is the European Gold. I'm going to see a little squirt of the, the Gretchen Gold just to see how it looks. Yeah, no. The Gretchen Gold is more of the gold gold or yellow gold. You'll, and I prefer the, um, the brassy look definitely. So we're going to stick to the European gold. I'm going to close that. And let's get rub and buffing. I just need to put things back. However, the other side of the laundry, we have decided to make a part two of our laundry makeover. Um, so yeah, now I'm just going to accessorize, put some things back, and I'm also going to dedicate a video just for my organizing. So whatever I'll be storing inside our laundry cupboards and everything, um, that will be stored in here and how I'll be organizing them. They'll be in a whole different separate video, but for now, let's get finding. Four days 
later and this section of the laundry is finally done. We are so happy with how everything's turned out. It's definitely exceeded our expectations and we we are so happy. <laughs> I'm so, so happy with how everything's looking, how it's turned out and I can't wait to start organizing inside the cabinets but you guys have to wait for that video. So that's pretty much it. Um, we need another day or so to complete the other side. We'll definitely show you guys once we're done with that. But the big task that took four days is done and it's ready to get organizing and put everything back where it belongs and give everything that we own and want to put in the laundry a little home of its own. Uh, so I'll bring you guys closer to see everything. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully we've inspired you guys to start a project that you've dreaded for such a long time. It's amazing what a little paint can do or a, you know, give a shot to do-it-yourself projects. It's so rewarding when you see that result that you did that. <laughs> you made that look beautiful and yeah, it's, a, it's such a rewarding feeling. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you on my next one.